Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be looking into is something a tiny bit different. For today's video, I actually want to look at the community's response to the Visions update and the whole old aesthetic debate that has been going on for some time now. So the reason why I've put this video together in the first place is to try and showcase both sides of the argument you know show people who think that we should get the old feel back some people who don't like visions and then of course the complete opposite of that this is because i only ever talk about my own opinion and i feel like it's right to sort of give some other people a bit more of a voice and get other people's opinions across a little better this is kind of like good old community feedback friday if anyone remembers that and yeah i know i haven't done one in ages just allow it okay so all of these opinions are taken from my own comment section so yeah you can argue this doesn't reflect the entire community but that is pretty hard to replicate and from what i can see these opinions left in the comments are kind of stretched across the entire of the community whether it be reddit or twitter or wherever you look but anyway with all of that said and done please do sit back and relax Let's get started. Okay, so first up, I want to take a bit of a negative route and showcase some comments which hint at Visions as an update being too minor or too hyped up for what it actually delivered. I'll later move on to the aesthetic and all of that stuff. The first comment is by a kid called Debleo. Um, fuck knows how you say that. And he or she says the following. I don't like how they gave Visions a title because it makes it seem as though it is as big as Next or Atlas Rises. It really really didn't need a trailer and I think they need to spend more time on big updates. Visions was definitely the least impressive titled update by far. Alright, so we're starting off with some controversial and uh, fairly strong opinions right here. So the general vibe of this opinion is that Visions was almost misleading because the fact it had a trailer and a title makes it seem like an update that is on par with say other titled updates. And let me start off by saying that this does have some truth but not a great deal it is highly unusual for an update like 1.75 to have a trailer and a baby hype train surrounding it because the only time we've gotten trailers are for full numbers like 1.3 1.7 1.1 etc however this doesn't mean that just because we got a trailer we should expect it to be on par with other larger updates i believe that the trailer was created and the general hype was created on purpose to make it overly clear that this is an important update one which is vital to the game and ultimately one which meets the demands of the community and at the end of the day visions does add a ton of content maybe even as much as 1.7 or possibly a tiny bit less depending on how you look at it in my opinion i like to say that visions is way more exciting than say 1.2 because for memory i can only remember the pathfinder introducing exo Craft. I know that there was so much more and so much more which needed to be in there, but Visions has the content which people remember. It's a memorable update because it's a massive first step in bringing back that old feeling which we lost in earlier builds. And as much as I do respect everyone's opinions, I do believe this comment is a case of simply wanting too much. I mean, even the way that they said they need to spend more time on big updates is already coming across in a bad way. This is true, of course, people do like the big updates for No Man's Sky, and you could argue that the big updates change the most about the game, but ultimately, if Hello Games keeps on updating No Man's Sky with big, fat, high quality updates, we're going to become a little too accustomed to it and we're going to start thinking that this is the only route and when we get smaller updates we're going to be a little bit disappointed moving on now a next comment is from mark johnson and he says the following i find it quite ironic to call the update visions when clearly the vision was the cartoon magical vibrant almost fairy tale type of space game we saw in the first trailers but in the end change is change if the game keeps getting more aesthetic updates and focuses on on overall content then i see no problem in it realistic graphics are really not what brought people into the game let's be honest it was the really dreamy colorful space 
we all remember. So this comment is actually nailing exactly how I feel. The mentioned fact that the initial vision of No Man's Sky was that colourful and dreamy look does indeed contradict the title of this update in an ironic kind of way. However, Mark does state that change is change, and as long as the game is getting better, then there is nothing really to complain about. That final bit does really hit home though. We were initially attracted to that original feeling of No Man's Sky from the first trailers. I think that if Hello Games were to release No Man's Sky as 1.75 in 2016, then people may have been slightly less enthusiastic about the whole visual appeal. It isn't by any means a bad looking game currently. However, those old colors were unique to No Man's Sky and they were were an aesthetic that wasn't overly used in gaming at the time, at least with big hyped up games, and this in my opinion really did help with the appeal. So those are two of the kind of most negative or pessimistic comments which I could find, but now I want to move into the more positive comments, because of course we have to end on something nice and happy. First up is a comment by Daxter Defluff2, absolutely fantastic name, and he or she says the following. I really like this update. Regarding the E3 aesthetic thing, I have come to accept that this game is just too different now, and Hello Games seem to have a new vision. I think the E3 thing is more of a separate game and we should try to work on the aesthetic of the game we have now whilst trying to enjoy that. As much as I like the E3 stuff, I also really like the stuff we have now. I'll always remember that old E3 footage with good memory, but the game is just the way it is now, and I don't think I'd change that. Alright, so this comment is a really, really nice one. I completely agree that Hello Games have a new vision, hence the update name of Vision, and the old E3 style is simply a thing of the past. As Daxter said, E3 is more of a separate game, a game we won't ever play, but what we have now is much miles better than what we saw in 2016, at least gameplay and visual wise. The point about looking back at old E3 trailers and holding fond memories is so true, but as he states, we should be looking at the present and work with what we currently have. But this stance on visions and the old aesthetic as a whole is how I think most people should see it. We have really good memories of older builds of No Man's Sky, you know, especially 1.0 in terms of the colours and the jungle planets and the variety variety and all of that stuff, that old indie feel which we kind of moved away from. However, we're now on a new chapter and Hello Games ultimately has a plan, a Dutch Vandalin style plan. We just need money, Arthur. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking doing that, it's so stupid. On the other side of the argument, good old, uh, no, I'm going to try and pronounce this, uh, Sand Hyron Pillay probably fucking butchered that name. I honestly hate saying your name. I'm so sorry, but you're a babe. I see you around a lot. I love you a lot. But anyway, this fella says the following. There is still a way to go. That pre-release look was very distinct, but I think we're getting close to achieving that. I do believe No Man's Sky will benefit from the look rather than seeming more realistic like Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous. That is the look that people ultimately fell in love with in the first place. That is what people saw and wanted. You can not tell me that's not true. The pre-release look with visions, graphics, and onwards would be great, but like I said previously, graphical proneness is not where No Man's Sky should be focusing development. Instead, they should achieve that distinguishing art style by not abiding to a generic sci-fi appearance. Oh boy, th this is such a good comment. So good old Pile here, or the Pile, I, I don't know how you say it, I'm sorry, said what I basically said. That old look is what we fell in love with, and we should aim to keep that look going with the future of No Man's Sky. The mention of No Man's Sky now falling into a generic art style is also true to some extent. Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen do retain a realistic look, and although No Man's Sky isn't anywhere near close to that, there is a danger that they might start going down that route of inspiration. I do believe, however, that Hello Games are aware of what separates No Man's Sky from other space games in terms of their colour, and the old 60s or 70s sci-fi aesthetic that No Man's Sky is kind of known for. I don't really think that Hello Games would accidentally go down 
down a more realistic route. I think that would be very hard for them to do. In fact, I strongly believe that bringing in more realistic colours and lighting with 1.3 was a good step in balancing the experience, because on one side, we still have really colourful palettes in space like purple and orange, yet we have some grounded colours like grey, blue and green. The game currently is a fairly balanced mixture of realism and surrealism, if that's the right word to use, and I think that's a conscious decision by Hello Games in order to appeal to a wider range of players. At the end of the day, we've come to realise that this debate doesn't have a definite answer. Some people like the old look and some people absolutely hate it. Hello Games picking a side and going all out will only please half of the player base. And from a developer perspective, that's going to cause a lot of conflict and a lot of confusion maybe even a little bit of hatred. So having both is absolutely fine in my books. It pleases everyone and keeps everyone happy. Visions leaned more towards the vibrant old style, but didn't go all out to piss off those who hate the stupidly bright colours, and I am completely cool with that. So guys, that is just about all I have to say for this video, but as always, I do want to know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section of the video. I just want to take a quick moment to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you guys enjoyed it then please do feel free to leave a like on it and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skimboot signing out